The sun is setting on northern Uganda. As they do every evening, the women are returning to the village of Okabi with the wood they need to cook the evening meal. Because it's cheap, biomass is the most widely used source of energy, not only in this country, but on the entire continent. Oil is too expensive and electricity simply isn't accessible for six out of ten Africans. Africa and the European Union are working together in the Africa-EU Energy Partnership to overcome this. The aim is to improve access to energy for both continents, energy which is reliable, secure, affordable, cost-effective, climate-friendly and sustainable. Energy at the heart of any development. We set this target of 100 million people in Africa uh, to have access to modern uh, electricity or modern energy services uh, in the country by 2020. Without energy, you can't really speak about social service quality. Without energy, you can't really achieve high level of education. Without energy supply, you actually can't provide productivity for feeding people. So it is the essence of uh, eradication of poverty. In the village of Okabi, locals are preparing the foundations for a small hydroelectric power station as part of a project known as Pamenu. The project is financed by the ACP-EU Energy Facility, one of the instruments that support the energy partnership. Everyone in the village is involved. Here they're digging trenches for the cables that will take electricity into the houses of the 100 people who live in the village. Each house will be equipped with a light bulb. That will replace the current system where everybody is using kerosene for lighting. Kerosene is expensive and often people don't have money for the kerosene which effectively means that they have to live in the dark. In the town of Arua, the local hospital is all too familiar with the problem of darkness. The electricity of the town is supplied by a diesel generator. It frequently breaks down. To remedy the situation, the hospital uses solar energy. This enables it to care for the children which parents so often bring in at night time. Without light, it is very difficult to see even the veins of the children, especially to put the drips. And when the, drip, the, the veins collapse, it is very difficult without light. With only a hurricane lamp, it is uh, very difficult to give good service. Two-thirds of the population of northern Uganda live below the poverty line. The Pamanu project, implemented by the German development agency GIZ, aims to make energy accessible to one million people in the region. As a consequence, this has also given parts of the population the chance to take up additional income-generating activities. This bar owner has bought three solar panels with a loan. Here in Uganda, in our place, we have a lot of sunshine, which we just normally use like that, but they have, we have seen that it can generate energy and so forth, so it can also entertain us when you put on power, watch TV and so forth. Since the solar panels have been installed, his turnover has grown threefold. He now has enough power for two television sets. On the evenings of important matches, 60 to 70 people pay to watch TV and to charge their mobile phones. 80 kilometers away in Yumbe, equipped with Pamanu solar panels, this hairdresser can now work three additional hours in the evening, which is good for business. The Ugandan authorities want to make the Pamanu project sustainable over time by involving the private sector. If you target companies attract companies, I mean, to come in and invest, then I think that would be more sustainable because you cannot thrive on, on projects all the time. This is an important aspect of the partnership between the two continents. Europe can help find these investors. As for Africa, it's the ideal place to develop new technologies and renewable energies. Take Yumbe, for example. Solar panels make it possible to operate street lights in the main street, which is lined with the shops. As a result, the street is lit up all night and the town's residents and shopkeepers feel safer. Somebody who is walking on the street is already de developing an idea, what can, why can't I break this and uh, get something small? Now with the lights up to around 5 in the morning, it minimizes time for somebody to think that way. Uh, does increasing the security of people's property and increases somebody's wealth creation and uh, definitely the much lie effect is that there's the growth of the town, you know. Back to the village where wood is still the main source of energy for cooking. It also carries health risks. 
when they use the three stone fire, uh, the, the, the smoke, the smoke that is emitted is harmful to the, to the health, mainly the women and the children. In addition to making electricity accessible, the Pamanu project is also working on the development of new technologies, handmade and cheap for biomass. This here is an improved stove. Its benefits are threefold. It produces substantially lower amounts of harmful smoke, consumes 50% less wood, and, as a result, contributes to the fight against deforestation. In addition, the villagers have been trained to build small portable stoves themselves. By producing and selling 35 units a week, the stove builder's family has gained a better standard of living. In fact, I'm satisfied of uh, this work here because he given me a lot of income. Uh, he has even changed my life. Active both in the area of electricity and biomass, the Pamanu project illustrates the success of the constant and intensified dialogue in the equal partnership between Africa and Europe, the main contributor worldwide in terms of development aid, and this partnership will continue to evolve. It is a small bird that is still need to bring its wings to full maturity and really fly. I think what we have done, it, we, we, we just started this partnership with some very concrete projects, but still we need to replicate it in much by, by far. One of the partnership's flagship programs for the next few years is the implementation of the Renewable Energy Cooperation Program, aimed at bringing renewable energy technologies to the African market. Like all action resulting from this partnership, it is to the benefit of the population.